Focus Plus Collab is a game changer in stable diffusion. It provides an easy to use, beginner friendly interface with tons of options for image generation and is capable of generating really good outputs that are at par and sometimes better than tools like Midjourney and Leonardo. You can also do things like face swap and image extension, all of that, without having a high-end PC and without paying for any subscription. Setting up focus with Collab. There are two ways of doing this, with and without mounting Google Drive. I have attached links to both Collab notebooks below. This is important if you are regularly generating AI images. It's best to mount your Google Drive as it will allow you to access Focus without downloading it again and again. Otherwise, all your Focus files and checkpoints will be erased as soon as you close the session. Having Google Drive mounted will also keep all your generation saved or you'll have to manually save each image. Collab Disclaimer Although you can access and use Focus on its free plan, you might face low load speed and frequent timeout errors. Therefore, I recommend you to go at least with the pro plan that costs around $11 for $100 compute units, which is good enough to use for about 20 to 30 hours of image generation. It'll ensure faster generation speed and fewer timeout errors. Going back to setting up the Collab Notebook, click Connect at top right. When it says connected, start running each cell one by one. On the first step, you'll be asked for access to your Google Drive. Grant access and continue running the cells. Once done, start focus installation. In the third cell, you can add links to custom models or checkpoints. One way to do this is by getting links from Civit AI. Just copy the link and paste it here. Let's select this checkpoint for an example. Copy download link, click run, and it'll start downloading the files. It'll be downloaded in your drive, so make sure you have enough space in the drive. Running the last cell will give you a public link to access Focus. It's a public link, so you can use this on multiple devices as well. But to make things smoother, try running one session at a time. So this is what the Focus interface looks like. This is a prompt box, followed by different image prompt options. Clicking Advanced will open this side panel from where you can play around with image settings and style options, select custom models you have downloaded, etc. Soon, I'll make a detailed video on this thing. For now, let's go ahead and generate an image to make sure our image generator is running properly. Let's make a Mongolian warrior who looks furious seven feet tall, has broad shoulders, wears brown clothes, and has a dusty face. I think that's enough for now. Let's make it in a square ratio. For now, let's keep it at default. And click generate. It'll start generation. And here we have our Mongolian warrior. And here is our final output. I would say the image quality is 10 out of 10. It does an excellent job of maintaining skin textures and shadows. You can simply download these images from here, or you can access these from your Google Drive in the output folder inside the Focus SD folder. And that's it about setting focus setup. More interesting things are coming up here about image generation and AI tools, so make sure to subscribe. See you in the next one.